What is going on ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? My name is Vinny Vega and today I want to talk about the resolution bug in Battlefield 1. And for those of you who are not aware, there's a bug right now where the scaling is completely off-center to where 42% is basically native resolution. And I mean basically because, come to find out, there's no way to have your direct resolution, your native resolution, while in game. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. Now, if you go in the main menu, or you can even do this in-game as well. You can mess with your video settings, and you can do your console commands as well in-game or at the main menu. I'm going to go ahead and show you in the main menu. Now, if you hit the console command, which is the key right above the tab key, go ahead and type in render.drawscreeninfo. Apparently, I can't type today. Space 1 and hit enter. And it will show you all kinds of stuff like your video card and your CPU. I'm sure if you are a PC gamer, you already know what's running inside your rig, but that's besides the point. But you'll see internal is what the game resolution is currently at. And you'll see that right now, and you probably can't because it's really tiny, but it says 1911 times 1075, which is, you know, slightly under, actually. That's what 42% will give you. 43% will be slightly above. So I think slightly under is a little bit better as far as performance goes, but it's going to be roughly the same. I know most people will tell you to... They'll tell you to go 50%. And if you go 50%, you'll see exactly what happens. Now we bumped up to 2188 by 1231. And these values will change on you every time you go back and forth. So it's up to you if you want to go back and forth and see if you can dial it in a little bit more. But personally, I would just leave it at 42%. And 42%, wow. It's the first time that's happened, it went right back to 1911 times 1075. Usually it changes on you, but in this case it didn't, I guess. And then 43%, you'll see, will put you slightly above 1940 by 1091. So it is definitely a, an odd issue. I'm sure they'll fix it by launch, but I'll definitely keep an eye on this for sure. And you can even see it for yourself if they fixed it by launch time by doing the same method. And to get rid of it, just hit console again and type in render.drawscreeninfo space zero. And that'll get rid of that. So it's, you know, it doesn't break your immersion during game. Oh, I didn't put the dot. Whoops. Render dot draw screen info. Space zero. And then I'll get rid of it. And if you want to get rid of your frame counter in the right hand corner, you just type in perf overlay dot draw fps space zero and that'll get rid of it and to put it back you type in exactly the same thing again but space one dot draw I personally like to have it on just to kind of monitor what's going on long game even though most, most of the time I'm using DX Story to record, so a lot of times I'll have the frame counter anyway. But it is nice to have. So anyways, that will do it for this video, and I hope this helps somebody out and clears up a little bit of confusion. So I hope you guys have a badass day today, and I'll see you on the next one.